Let's study Principles of Management, Chapter 2, Part 2. Today we are going to study Significance of Principles of Management, which means Importance of Principles of Management. As to why these principles are important in our daily life or in business. Now, these management principles are very important as they guide the managers to implement the task. When we adhere to managerial principles, it adds to our knowledge, skills, ability, understanding towards various situations and help us to be innovative as these principles just guide us and not give exact solutions. It helps the managers to learn from the past mistakes and make wise decisions. These principles are important because it increases your managerial efficiency. Let's say, for example, if you are a manager in your company and you have to handle more than 200 employees, of course, it is not possible for you to control all at a time. So you would allot the work, which means divide the work among your employees or subordinates on the basis of their skill, ability, knowledge and experience. So you as a manager can leave the routine decision making to subordinates and you will interfere when major decisions has to be taken or when decision making requires your expertise knowledge. So this way, all these principles provide managers with useful insight into the reality that they can learn from their past mistakes and make wise decisions for the future. Now, the second significance of principle of management is optimum utilization. Optimum utilization means maximum utilization of resources and effective administration. Now, effective administration means the way of working or the ability to handle your departments or various departments effectively and efficiently. We must understand that resources are in scarce be it any resources, whether it is human resource or material resources. By human resources, we mean employees, laborers, etc. We all are, of course, human resources. And material resources mean raw materials which are used for production. So this both resources are in scare. scarce. There is shortage of the resources. So we must make fuller or maximum utilization of these resources. Now, when I say optimum utilization, as I said, maximum utilization at a minimum cost. So maximum production at a minimum cost. Let me give you an example. Let's say, for example, if we know that with two meters of cloth, I can make one shirt and each employee, let's say there are three employees, each employee is given minimum of say 10 meters of shirt. That means the maximum shirt which they can produce is with 10 meters is how much calculate? Per meter it is, sorry, uh, for two meters they can make one shirt. So obviously with 10 they can make five shirts. Now let's say employee number one, he made five shirts. Employee number two, he made six shirts. And employee number three, he could hardly make four shirts because there was an error and there was wastage of resources. Now, among all these, who has worked efficiently? Obviously, employee number two, that he tried to utilize the resources to the maximum level. Even though they could make, let's say, for example, if he could, the possibility was five, but he went beyond the possibilities and somehow he managed to get maximum utilization or maximum production with minimum cost. So when there are wastages, they can be overcome. So it is very important that administrations have to be very effective to find solution to different problems without any bias or without any prejudice. The third significance of principles of management is that the principles of management has scientific decisions. Management principles are important because they help in decision making scientifically, that is based on facts. They are logical rather than blind faith. So decision must be based, based on facts 
thoughtful and they should be justifiable whatever decisions are taken must be for the benefit of organization and obviously towards achieving the organizational goal now we all know that business environment is very dynamic in nature when i say dynamic it means business environment keeps on changing and every business firm if they want to survive into the market they have to meet up the requirement of the changing environment so business environment is dynamic which means we can see that the whole transition in business from 1950 till date in terms of technology innovation etc has been taken place this is possible because managerial principles are flexible and it is dynamic in nature in today's modern times where companies are specializing in core competencies and divesting into non core business like uh, by this we mean that nowadays companies have started outsourcing now when we say outsourcing what does it mean for example i have a company the main aim of my company is to produce garments now that is my core business but there are certain non core activities which i don't want to get involved into so that i can focus completely on production let's say for example advertising or marketing or research and development so what i do is i give that project or i give the advertising to the uh, you know outsource them like for example giving these those project to the outside agency they will market on my behalf they will do research on my behalf so that i can focus completely on my core business now outsourcing is in trending and that is why we have business process outsourcing and we have knowledge process outsourcing wherein the company focuses on their core business and rest of the activities are given to the agencies who work for all these areas who are specialized in let's say for example marketing or advertising or research and development next as to why these principles are important why it is significant then the another reason is it fulfills the social responsibility there is increased awareness among the public today people knows their rights if any business firm exploits any of the resources be it human resource or material resources which may affect the environment and due to this awareness of people today's businesses have to fulfill their social responsibilities that is responsibility towards society but not by harming the environment due to production or by by giving you know unfair wages they have to adhere to the rules and norms of the society by giving fair wages values to the customer by not exploiting them by taking care of the environment and by having a healthy competition with the competitors now how can you have healthy competition healthy competition means competing with your competitors in terms of quality and not taking unethical ways to compete with your competitors uh over here for fulfilling the social responsibility we can take a very good example of bhcl that is uh, bharat heavy electricals limited which has developed ranipur and haridwar now this is again this industry was developed over there to help that city to grow or to help that remote area to grow in terms of communication transportation that is infrastructure education health facility the other example which we can take is mahila grow udyog that is legit papad again they are fulfilling their social responsibility that is they actually employ only the uh, women sisters you can say the employee sisters so that uh, it is helpful for them to grow along with the economy so this way all these the two examples which i gave you they are trying to fulfill their social responsibility there are many more examples to this but i have given you two examples the next uh, significance of principles of management is that we all know that entrance to management institute is preceded by management aptitude test so do you think that this test could have been developed without any understanding of management principle and how they apply in 
different situation no so this principles of management help you to give you the knowledge education ability to understand the work and they guide you to take the future action so to conclude we can say that understanding the meaning nature and importance of principles of management this will help us to appreciate their applicability in the real life situation in business thank you very much